Chris for high school football tonight on the cool side. Bring the jacket. It's going to be a great evening for it, though, feeling like fall temperatures into the upper 60s by 7 o'clock for kickoff around most games, 66 by 8. We're still hanging out in the low to mid 60s again. Nothing but clear skies, a whole lot of stars out there tonight. Just a little on the cool side. So again, bring the light jacket heading into the next several days. A whole lot of this. We are clear in our satellite and radar picture. Sunshine going to dominate today and over the next couple of days through the weekend. Just dodging a few areas of fog out there early on. Temperatures around 50 degrees to start if you're heading to the bus stop in Montgomery County. 70 degrees by 3 o'clock. Again, we're keeping those mostly sunny skies at a nice and comfortable when the kids get off the bus. All right, we have clear skies through the afternoon. Here is 2 o'clock. Notice nothing but clear skies. The white arrows representing the wind direction still out of the north and west, supplying us with this very nice fall-like comfortable air mass, whatever you want to call it. Overnight, we are mainly clear. Heading into the start of our Saturday, a few passing clouds, mainly to the north of us, but otherwise, again, we are in the clear. Pay no attention to these showers you see popping up. Future Tracker out to lunch for Saturday afternoon. We are mostly sunny, just a stray shower or two. On to Hurricane Irma. Again, these are the forecast wind gusts. Again, over the next uh, several days here, this is starting at 930 in the morning on Sunday. The strongest winds really already coming on. We could have triple digit wind gusts to parts of South Florida where Irma makes landfall. Notice again, those strong wind gusts continue up the Florida coast, even through central Florida. Orlando coming in with gusts over 80 miles an hour. You see that again, the center of circulation coming back on still 80 mile per hour wind gusts in places like Savannah, Georgia. Locally, again, we could have gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour, possibly 40 to 50 miles an hour in the highlands. That's something we're tracking closely. The stronger the gusts, obviously, the bigger the impacts in terms of any kind of power outages. Right now, that center of circulation looks way too far away to create anything widespread, but something we are tracking closely. Temperatures back in the low to mid 70s this afternoon under mainly sunny skies. Tonight, we are mostly clear. Temperatures fall back into the 40s and 50s. A very pleasant weekend coming our way. Low to mid 70s Saturday and Sunday. And then there's the impacts potentially from Irma. Some rain moving in Monday into Tuesday. Some of that could be heavy once we get into early Tuesday, guys. How much rain would you would you say we could see right now? It's, it's not looking horrible. Not looking too terrible much. Yeah, yesterday when we were kind of in the bullseye of this, it was only looking like two to four inches oh, of rain. Okay. So and this is a very, very fast mover. So some good news there. So not really concerned about flooding either. Uh, for the most part, at least on a large scale, maybe an isolated spot in poor drainage areas, but only a couple of inches of rain expected from Irma. Enough to help out the dry conditions. That's right. Yes. It would be beneficial mm -hmm. for us for yeah. sure. 612 now. We'll take a